Hi, this is Melise of Rolo Cubing and Gaming, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Kilominx. The Kilominx is a fun little cube. It's a lot like the Megaminx, and so let's get started. Okay, I've scrambled up the Kilominx, and now we're ready to do the first step. The first step is to solve one layer, and I like to solve the white layer first, and so what I like to do is find a white piece and put it on the top so that the white is facing upwards. And then I look at the colors that are on this piece. So this one has red and green. And so what I'm gonna do is look for a white piece that has either red, and if it has red, it's gonna go here, or a white piece that has green on it, in which case it would go here. So let's look around our cube, and here's a piece that's got uh, green on it. So let's rotate that piece. And because it has green on it, we know that it's gonna need to go here next to the other green piece. And so what I like to do is to put this piece underneath the spot we're trying to fill. So we're trying to bring it up here. Um, so I put it underneath the place I'm trying to bring it. And then what we're gonna do is this algorithm that is a standard cubing algorithm. And we're gonna use this algorithm a lot today in the solve of Kilomix. It's called the R prime D prime R D algorithm. And it goes like this. So R prime means that we're gonna turn the right side counterclockwise. So here's R prime. D prime means we're gonna turn the downward face uh, counterclockwise. That's the prime, so D prime. And then we're gonna do an R move, which is to turn the right face clockwise. And then a D move to turn the downside clockwise. Okay, and so, um, now we're gonna keep doing that R prime D prime R D until we reorient this piece so that it is positioned properly. So R prime D prime R D. And let's do that again. R prime D prime R D. Okay, and you can see we've put our piece into position and always complete that last step um, the D, the final step, um, that's gonna be important later in solving this cube so that we don't mess things up. So even if your piece is in place when you're at the R, uh, continue finishing that last step D um, because that's gonna be important later on. Okay, so now let's continue looking around our cube, looking for a piece that, uh, a white piece. So let's look for the white piece that has red on it that's gonna go here. So here's the white piece. Let's move this piece around what I call the ribbon on our Kilominx, so kind of rotate it around until we get it underneath where we're trying to go, which is here. And then we're gonna do that same R prime, D prime, R, D move again. So R prime, D prime, R, D. And let's keep going to reorient this. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Okay, so we got that piece into place. And then let's keep moving around our cube. Here's a white piece. Uh, it's got blue on it, so it's gonna go next to this other blue and white piece. So let's put it underneath where we're trying to go, which is here. And then again, we're gonna do the R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Okay, and we put that one into place. And then we look for our final white piece, which is over here. Let's move it around the ribbon. Let's get it underneath the place where we're trying to go, which is here. And again, we're gonna do that same move, R prime, D prime, R, D. And you can see we have solved the first layer of the Kilomix. Okay, now we are ready to solve the second layer of the Kilomix. And the second layer is these five pieces that go around the perimeter of the Kilomix. And what we're gonna try and do is bring those pieces in uh, one by one. So uh, for example, this piece is already uh, the right piece and in the right place. So it, we want blue and yellow underneath and these match up. So this one's already good to go. So let's keep going around the cube. Here we need to find a piece that's got yellow and purple. So let's look around our Kilomix. Here's the yellow and purple. What I like to do is bring that piece down to the bottom layer and then move it around the base of the Kilomix until you get it down here on the bottom left. And then what we can do is turn this face to bring this piece up into the position we want it. The position is right here. And then you see that it's not quite oriented properly. So what we're gonna do is 
we're going to do the same algorithm I just showed you in that last step, the R prime D prime RD. But this time what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we put this white face off to the left and this will keep this face um, safe and so it doesn't get messed up. And we're gonna do the R prime D prime RD move until this, uh, this piece gets oriented properly. So R prime D prime RD, R prime D prime RD, R prime D prime R. D, R prime, D prime, R, D. Okay, and so we put that piece into place and now we can keep moving around our cube. Over here, we see that we're looking for the piece that's got purple and green. Here it is, so let's rotate it into position. We got lucky there, it's, it's oriented properly, so we're good there. Let's keep moving around the cube. We're looking now for the piece that's got green and red on it. So let's look around, here it is on the base, so let's rotate the base, get it so it's in this bottom left position, then we can rotate this face, bringing it up into the, the proper position, and now we're gonna reorient it using our standard methodology, so we're gonna put the white face off to the left, keeping it safe, and we're gonna again do R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, and that piece is now in place. Let's keep going around the kilominx. We're now looking for the red and blue piece. So let's look for that. Um, here it is. Um, so here it is um, in this position and we want to bring it down to the lower position, but we wanna put this piece back in place. So let's go ahead and move this piece off to the side and then put this back into place so we don't mess up that. Okay, so now let's rotate our red and blue piece where it needs to go. Let's put it so that it's in the bottom left uh, position, and then we're gonna rotate this face to bring it up into position. This time we got lucky, so that piece is properly positioned, and we can look around our kilomix, kilomix and we can see that we have solved layer two. Okay, now we are ready to solve the third layer of the kilominx. And the third layer are these five pieces that are the last, uh, the apex of each of these pentagons on the sides here. So what I like to do is I look in the bottom of my cube and I'm looking for pieces that don't have gray on them. And those are the pieces that we want to place. So for example, this piece here with cream, red, and pink, we can rotate around the base until we line it up with where it needs to go. And so this has red on it, so it's gonna to need to go with the red face. And so we want to put it here, and we're gonna do our standard method where we put it underneath where we're trying to, to place it, and we're gonna do the R prime D prime R D algorithm. R prime D prime R D, and we've placed that. Now we keep going uh, around our kilominx, looking on the bottom for a piece that doesn't have gray. Here's one. This has yellow, orange, and lime, so let's rotate it to where it needs to go. Because it's got yellow, we, need it's gonna, we know that it needs to go with this yellow face. So again, let's put it under where we're trying to go, and we're gonna do R prime, D prime, R, D. So we're gonna go ahead and do that move again. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D. Okay, and we've placed that. We're gonna keep looking underneath our cube for pieces without gray. Here's one. This has purple, turquoise, orange. It actually needs to go right here with the purple face. So let's go ahead and do our R prime, D prime, R, D algorithm. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D, and we have placed that piece. We keep going around our kilominx, and let's find another piece without gray. Here's one. This has turquoise, cream, and green, which is gonna go right here with the green face, and we're gonna do that algorithm one more time. R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, and we have placed that piece. And then looking around our kilomix, we can see that we have, oh, we still have one left. Okay, we still need to find the piece with blue on it. So here it is, blue, lime, and pink. Let's rotate it around, put it underneath the place where it needs to go. 
and we're going to do that algorithm one more time. R prime, D prime, R, D, 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 R prime, D prime, R, D. And now looking around our kilominks, we have successfully placed all five of those pieces and we have solved the third layer of the kilominks. Okay, now we are ready to solve the fourth and final layer of the kilominx. And so what I like to do here is I take the white face and I flip it so it's on the bottom. And then we're gonna work with these five final gray pieces. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get it so that we first position all these pieces so their colors match the colors below. So for example, I like to look for a piece that has gray on top and then I align it with its colors below. So you could align this piece with its colors below, so turquoise and orange, or you could align this piece with the cream and blue below. And then what I like to do is, what we're trying to do is figure out if we can pair this, um, pair this up with another piece. So if we could get the, for example, the orange and turquoise piece here, or if we could get the pink and cream piece here, we would have either a pair here or here, and that's what we need to first accomplish. So I'm gonna teach you this algorithm that's gonna let you <clears throat> keep two pieces in place firm, and then the other three pieces are going to rotate around so that this piece moves here, this piece moves there, and that piece moves here. <clears throat> and so for example, um, I'd like to see so this is a good piece. I'd like to see if I could get cream and pink over here. So if I hold these two, I can rotate these three pieces and I see none of these are pink and cream. So if I tried rotating these pieces, it won't accomplish what I need to do. It won't get the pink and cream piece here. So then let me try and look at these, cover these two pieces. And then in this case, I'd wanna try and get the turquoise and orange piece here. So I look at this and I see, is that piece available? And it's not available either, so that's not a good situation. So, then, so let's so that this piece is not working out so great. So let's try this piece instead. So let's rotate this one to be over the turquoise and orange, and then let's try this again. So let's cover these two pieces, and I want to see can I get the blue and cream piece here, and I can't. So uh, because it's covered, I can't rotate these three pieces and get blue and cream here. So then let's try covering these two. And can I successfully rotate um, the orange and lime piece? And no, I can't. So actually this cube, basically what I need to do is go ahead and do this algorithm that I'm gonna show you um, just to rejigger things. So we're gonna do this algorithm. This is what we're gonna use throughout the rest of this step. Um, and I call it the UR double back algorithm. And so what we're gonna do is, we can hold this any which way. Um, well, like let's line this piece up. Um, and we're gonna go U, so turn the top, the U, upper side, clockwise. R, turn the right side, clockwise. Double back, so take the top and double back, or go counterclockwise twice, one, two. Um, then bring up the left side. Then bring the top around twice more clockwise, one, two. That aligns these two pieces, bring them down. Bring the top, back twice, two more times counterclockwise, one, two. That aligns these two pieces, bring those down, and then turn the top one more time, bringing, bringing this piece back into place. <clears throat> so now let's check our corners again, and let's see if we can now figure out a way to do a pair. <clears throat> and so, um, like if we cover these two pieces, I'm trying to bring the blue and cream piece over here. And actually this will work, because we see blue and cream is here, it's one of the three, so that could be a successful. Uh, endeavor. <clears throat> and then if we look over on this side, um, we see that actually we couldn't successfully bring the green and orange piece because it's covered. So let's go ahead and hold it this way and we're going to try and bring this blue and cream piece over here and then we'll have a pair like we're looking for. So we're going to do that UR double back algorithm again. And so holding this with these two pieces covered, um, we're going to go ahead and do that again. So U, turn the upper clockwise, R, turn the right side clockwise, double back, turn the top back twice, one, two, bring up the left side, turn the top twice more clockwise, one, two, that aligns these two pieces, bring them down, 
turn the top uh, counterclockwise twice. One, two, that aligns these two pieces, bring them down, and then do one last rotation of the top or the upper clockwise, realigning these pieces. Okay, so now we look and see if we've uh, got a pair. And no, we don't have a pair yet. Um, we need that blue and cream piece needs to keep rotating. So let's do that UR double back uh, algorithm one more time. U R double back, bring up the left side, turn the top twice more clockwise, one, two, bring down the right side, turn the top counterclockwise twice more, one, two, aligning these two pieces, bring them down, turn this top one more time clockwise, uh, realigning our front piece. And now we look and we see that this piece and this piece both um, are the proper colors. And in fact, they're even the proper position. So now we're gonna look at these other three and we see that we still need to keep rotating these three until they're in the right position. So let's go ahead and do the UR double back algorithm again. So U, R, double back, bring up the left side, turn the top twice more clockwise, one, two, bring down the right side, turn the top back twice, so two times counterclockwise, one, two, bring down the left side, Turn the top one more time, one rotation clockwise, realigning those two front pieces. And then we look and we see we actually have now successfully placed all three of these pieces so they're the proper colors. So this is pink and cream above pink and cream. It's okay that it's not oriented right at this point. This is perfectly right. And then this is, this is also the right colors. So now we've got all the colors in the right position. The pieces are in the right place, but now we need to reorient them. And so we're gonna do the final step, 4B, which is uh, to reorient these pieces that are uh, not in the quite right orientation. So these two pieces are perfectly right, so we'll put those off to the left like so. We're gonna be working on this piece that's the, in the front right, and we're gonna do that same old algorithm, algorithm we were doing before, the R prime, D prime, R, D. And so holding your, make sure you hold your cube firm because you, you don't want it to get squirrely on you or you'll mess it up, and you're gonna go ahead and do R prime, D prime, R, D. So R prime, D prime, R, D. And we're gonna keep doing that until we get our piece with gray on top. R prime, D prime, R. It's, you see it's good, but now finish up the D, D. Always finish that last D, otherwise you're gonna mess up your whole cube. Um, but we did get our gray piece in place, so now what you do is you turn the top one rotation clockwise, and you see this piece is already good, so we can go ahead and just move that to the side, turn the top one more rotation, and now we're gonna work on this piece. And again, we're gonna do R prime D prime R D until we get this piece rotated with the gray on top. So R prime D prime R D, R prime D prime R D, R prime D prime R D, R prime D prime R D. Okay, so now we've got all the gray pieces uh, facing upwards. And now we have to do the final easy step, which is to rotate this top until all the colors are perfectly aligned and we have solved the Kilomix.